Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Mbali Jamini, but you can call me Mrs. Lamini. And yeah, I'm back with another video. And seeing as you guys enjoyed um, last week's video, being how I made my husband, I stumbled upon an idea that I thought we should try, Mrs. Lamini and I. And I saw it on Maneo V. I'm going to tag her. I'm going to put the video uh, where I got the idea from. And so I asked you guys some questions. And yeah, I was not expecting such a response, if I'm being honest with you guys. <laughs> you guys have so many questions. Um, but thank you. <laughs> and Mr. Lamini is here, if you're wondering. <laughs> he, is, he is right here. He is here. Hey, babe. <laughs> Baby, your voice has to be there. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> okay, you need to get used to talking because some of these questions are directed at you. I mean, hi, guys. Hey, family. <laughs> Wait, show your thumb. Actually, kiss me like like my neighbor did. You're only there now. Because We get started okay this is, we'll start with like the easy ones so that you get comfortable yeah i'll just go i'll just go finish the easy ones and then go back and the first one is how many kids do you both want two. Baby, this is big one. It's like, two what do you mean two, two. like just because yeah are you sure? Yeah, I'm very sure. <laughs> I'm joking. I am also sure. We don't want any more kids. We're good. So, for all of those people who keep asking me, don't you want a boy? And all those people who keep asking me, mm, another kid. No. We are done though. And now you, you heard it from the other horse's mouth, the other person, and we are both in agreement that we are done. Good. Okay, this is another easy one. How many years have you been together? Uh, four years um, since 2016. Yes, yes, four years. We've been together for four years. <sighs> this one is not serious. And when you clearly don't watch my channel, she says, Did you have sex before marriage? Really? <laughs> like seriously, I think if we put the long ID, like there's so many clues that tell you that yes, we did. Like there's so many clues. One being uh, this thing. Do you need the phone to put on? How far are you guys going? Come on. Could can man can man. Oh, guys, we were trying to be. We're trying to set the ambiance for you guys. We're trying to set the mood for you guys. With the picture there, and the missus, the missus, the candle. Um, because obviously, as you guys can see, this is not the normal setup. Because we're recording this at night, you guys. We're recording this at night. The kids are asleep. Like even now, Jay, we feel like we're being loud. But anyway, we're downstairs. We're recording it at night, and I normally record upstairs. And. I can't record upstairs. Anyway, it's okay. I think we can just move on with the TV off. It's fine. Okay. So, okay, what which one did we just answer? Actually, answered. Um, did you have sex before marriage? Like, uh, as I was saying, like there is so many clues to this question. One being the living, breathing, Mali, Malangi, and Lamini. I think I don't even need to go further. Like, and I've also done a video why I wish I waited, which tells you that obviously I didn't wait. So I'm not even gonna focus too much on that question. Okay. Uh, oh. uh household chores 50 50. Oh, <laughs> when I jump in, will I in? 
Okay. Um. So we've got the individual but So we've we've gone out to again. Basically, yeah. We yeah. Work together. Yeah, mm. we're a team. We are a team, as you've heard from Mr. Lamini. There is no, I mean, obviously, like I cook, like I cook, mostly cook, but obviously, when I'm tired, Mr. Lamini takes over and he cooks. Sometimes he even just he likes cooking, so sometimes I just feel like making something and he will make it. And yeah, man, like we're a team, there's no such thing as 50 50 per se like we're a team i think that if that's being 50 50 then i guess we're 50 50 we are a team and we just face things together um okay these are just compliments you guys are so sweet you said you all are beautiful thank you tbk said y'all do you know how much you guys make me happy Thank you. Okay. Is he traditional or a modern type of guy? I guess that one's already said at me. I would say he's both. I, I think he's both. He does have those, um, like those old values, those traditional values. He definitely has those, but it's also very modern. So, and I think, I mean, I think I like it. I like it that way. Um, I think it's good. He's definitely both. Definitely both. Mm -hmm. So the son said, how, how did you know she was the one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, the rain. I hope you guys can't hear that. Go mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> I mean... For me, it's simple. I feel like the best way to answer is that if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Who they need to say that in the If you know, you know. In that, that case, it's just important to tell me you know. So it's, there was nothing about me that was like, or there was no moment that was like an aha moment for you. Mm, like that made you say, ah, ah, I picked him. No. No. It's it's a series of events and mm. so mm. it's, it's, it's all the time, mm. and then you end up knowing. Okay, yeah. yeah, this is it. Yeah, but mm. I feel like I feel like I hear what you're saying because mm. my answer is very similar. But I feel like you guys, you guys know very early on. It doesn't take long for you guys to know. Mm. That's why I mean, I I'm I'm trading on thin ice here, but just allow me. That's why I feel like, you know, if you're a lady and you're waiting on your man to show that he wants to marry you and he has no interest and it's been like quite a long time, ish, the chances of him changing his mind are very, I feel like men, they just know from very early on that this is the one that I want or this is the one that I want to marry, this is the one that I want to be my wife. Am I right, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, this one that asked, um, okay, how or when did you know he was the one and how did he know that you were the one? So now I guess I'm going to answer. I also feel like it's it's a series of events that make you say, mm, this is the one. But, you know, for the purpose of this video and being more specific, um, the first thing was the way he responded to us being pregnant. Um you know before marriage and they being young and everything the way he just took charge the way he just you know just you know made me feel so secure that was number one okay that was like especially guys i mean i'm not saying that one thing is the one thing just because a man is going to take care of you because you're pregnant that means it's the one i'm just saying for me especially considering how you know i had seen so many other women suffering out there um, when you know they fall, they happen to fall pregnant, and then the guy is just so MIA, or the guy just doesn't care, or the guy is not interested. So, the way he responded to that, 
it was definitely a start of a series of events and then the next was how he took care of me during the pregnancy um he cooked for me like literally every time i used to visit him i never i don't remember cooking ever 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 he cooked for me took care of me especially because i wasn't feeling well like my pregnancies don't treat me very well and he took care of me that was another thing that was like wow wow the other thing was um, i'm not gonna go into detail but me telling him i don't like something and him actually doing something about it not you know I, not having to repeat myself a lot of times i mean I, I think i did repeat myself once or twice but like you know he actually made an effort to change the thing that i was that i do not like at all the thing that i was ready to risk it all for the thing that i had told him he might lose me for he made an effort to change that and for me that speaks volumes that speaks volumes especially you know with someone that you want to be with for the rest of your life okay and then the last thing i know this is a mouthful but the last thing i prayed about it i prayed about it and i think it's the last and most important thing i prayed about it i fasted about it literally i was ready to walk away from it all we were literally engaged to be married it was very close to the wedding and I realized Gogoguti, I hadn't really, because of everything that had happened, I felt pregnant, you know, and all those things. And I was like, I wanted to make sure that I'm not with him because I, uh, we have a baby together. And I was just like, God, if he's not the one, I am ready to walk away from it all. It's okay. Like, it's fine. You can co parent. It's okay. But if it, this is not the man that you want for me, I'm ready to walk away from it all. And, you know, <laughs> as you guys can see, God said no yes he's the one and yeah that's why he's my husband <laughs> okay guys <laughs> hey i wish you guys could see his face anyway okay i feel like he, he think is this the first time you're hearing this it's not the first time okay <laughs> um how do you guys keep it exciting like your relationship and living together Okay, I'm going to read a, 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 like other questions that I feel like are quite similar to this one. Um, how do you keep the spark alive even after having children? Um, how do you keep the love fire burning? Uh, tips to keep the spark alive. So yeah, those those questions. You want to answer first, babe? Mm -hmm. um, I think... Um is that um, we, we sleep training mm. so yeah sleep training we'll see if if the kids are sleeping by by 8 pm yeah i will so they sleep early so they need to give us more time for us to i will to actually spend time to get yeah. because, because most of the time barely still i mean yeah so we, we need to spend time with them. yeah make the most of exactly likely so yeah, number one sleep training has helped out a lot. It really has. Mm, yeah, it has helped out a lot. I'm proud of us. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Then yeah, of course, for date night, for cook has been very helpful. Mm. Um, so I have a mission. So yeah, we cook for date night. Um, they're always there to help us out. Then they have also. Yeah, my sister. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the dead and the My boy is there to help us out. So yeah, we at, at least we've got Leo family that's always um up for us. So, I mean, that's the yeah, we mm. help us when we need help. Mm. Yeah, also Corsi as well. Yes, mm. right next door. Yeah. So yeah. She yeah. has offered him. Mm. She even said, "Putty, if you guys feel like you just wanna just bring them, and that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah." So then at least we we are with people and we are, we are sleep training. Yeah, sleep like training. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny you bring up the I wasn't I was, I didn't think of that, but you're so right, Guti. It's changed. I mean, it's still not like a lot of time, but it's definitely something. Mm -hmm. The fact that we 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 dedicate that time after putting the kids to sleep. You know just to be just to be us just to connect um whether we're, we're and also just like working on whatever we want to work on our dreams you know whatever but you see 
you know we get to reboot like mm. literally every day which is a good thing we're keeping in touch we're, we're keeping in touch like I, i'm trying to imagine like a life where we we didn't do that like we just went to sleep how how would that be i think we wouldn't be okay we wouldn't be okay interesting babe yeah so that's definitely how we oh to, like to, like today we went on a date night not that date night but we went for lunch and guys i won't even like like it's so important like date night or going out or dates like you know and date nights or dates don't have to be expensive also it's just literally getting away from your your your, your normal surroundings and just going out and like remembering Amy, when you guys used to date when you had no care in the world and for me i think honestly it does something for me personally like today yeah like i forgot that i've got responsibilities and i've got kids and know it was like i fell in love all over again literally i'm not even i know this is a cliche but that's exactly what happened so definitely that's how we keep the spark alive um and like hubby has said we're very grateful to our support system because without them obviously it would be tough you know we wouldn't have anybody to drop the kids off at i won't even lie to you guys it's tough as really when there's kids and so i feel like one important thing that i want to say is that you have to be intentional about it there's just no two ways about it for that period where you know you have you know young kids um you really have to be intentional about you know romance and keeping the spark alive I meaning just sometimes i surprise him and i just drop the kids without him knowing and i cook for him and I, you know you, you you have to you have to be intentional about it otherwise hey it will like it's not gonna it's not gonna work out because kids are a lot like i won't even lie to you expect the worst in <laughs> I'm joking, but yay! I won't even lie. I want to emphasize the fact that once you have kids, especially more than one, hey, it's a lot. But you know, you have to be intentional about wanting to spend time together, wanting to keep feeling like misachola, like gojola is important, which is what we did today, and I feel, I feel so good. <laughs> um, Demba said, "Did you guys have any fears of getting married?" like myths that have been attached to marriage just a question myths such as myths i don't know like myths such as maybe um good after marriage or uh, myths such as the first year of marriage is the, is the toughest year or myths myths like i don't know but like did, did you just have any fears mm, no, i don't know i don't know i think no. it's, it's it's similar to we it's similar to pregnancy that when I like you said to someone, I think you were talking to someone how this you, you can't really always listen to people's experiences until you actually experience. So I feel like marriage is the same thing. Absolutely. Exactly. This whole thing in a cut and you see each other. Sometimes you know when you have a great thirty years without having no problems. Then all like of us are thirty mm. years. Yeah, but so Yeah. I feel like the myths will always be there, but yeah. your experience will be there. Absolutely. And mm. focus on your experience. Exactly. Yeah. Why would you focus on other other people's experiences? Exactly. Mm. Okay. I don't have like one of And you say you don't have to look at you with all these bomb ass answers. <laughs> I love that answer that Habi just gave. Like, you know, it's just like in pregnancy. Like, when you're pregnant and you keep researching, keep researching people's experiences or keep listening to people nothing like you're gonna have your own experience just even even two pregnancies are not the same your own so yeah i love that answer and for me i won't lie i did have um fears but for me it's basically rooted in the fact that my parents you know separated so it was more that you know of thinking with Ooh, well the same thing happened to me but you know god is good and that's not my that i have broken all those chains they have been broken that is that, that will never be me and i'm good now like i'm okay and this one says i just love how he supports you and how he supports your dreams mm -hmm. me too <laughs> very blessed guys i won't even lie i am very blessed um it's very important to have a partner who supports your dreams you know 
even if maybe inside they're like they're not sure they're like oh my god but at the same time i think that like that belief in you um pushes you no no way to be better and honestly i feel like if my husband didn't believe in me so much i wouldn't be where i am today in, term, in terms of just you know how i've grown with my makeup skills and the confidence of being able to do all the things that i'm doing starting a youtube channel and you know having an instagram and all that like the fact that he gasses me up gives me the confidence that i need so thank you for that i'll forward to thank you <laughs> okay um ooh, hey, 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 hey. Uti, how do you guys balance things out financially with you being a stay-at-home mom? <laughs> I wonder what people think our life is like. Um, I feel like it's, not, it's simple, baby. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's, it's really not that difficult mm. because you are not a stay-at-home mom who doesn't work. You're a stay-at-home mom who works. Exactly. So, so if you work on weekends, I'm the one watching the kids. So Imali again. So yeah, we we have no We're good. <laughs> the only difference is that you don't work eight to five. Yeah. You yeah. essentially pay to you have your own hours and you I have your schedule. Absolutely. Yeah, so. I make my own hours. Yeah, so yeah, we don't have a problem. If I feel like I'm tired and I want to rest, I rest, mm -hmm. you know, but I guess because you're asking financially, yeah, like, it's just like a normal home, guys, where, where finances are concerned, literally, like, Nana, me, I have a salary, the only difference is mine comes in every weekend and his comes in once a month, literally, that's the only difference, and we still manage to budget Leo salary, obviously, mine is not the same, yeah, I mean, that's the only difference, but otherwise, in terms of Kuti, how we honestly like like a norm, like any other normal couple i don't know like and i feel like obviously we can't go into detail because it's our finances i feel like we can't go into detail with that that's our you know private thing but like all you need to know is that we balance them out like any normal family um yeah <laughs> we're good <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uti, did you guys feel an alignment from the start or did you have to adjust because it was worth it mm -hmm. i think she's saying like in terms of just you know you know baby transitioning from single life mm -hmm. to now serious relationship to now engaged marriage mm -hmm. like it's a lot and was it for you was it a natural progression and a progression that you felt like yeah i'm good or did you struggle with a few things um, i thought it was natural i mean yeah for me it, was, it can never be i don't yeah, think it can never be it, it wasn't it's just worth it because exactly. you know you're in love and you see you see the future yeah. what your life could exactly. be like mm -hmm. so it's all about i feel it's all about sacrifices absolutely you sacrifice it's in the life in that yeah, absolutely it, it has <laughs> their both. i mean sometimes i wish i could go to, to joburg just in jay mm -hmm. i do <laughs> yeah well exactly you know, once then you start having someone that you want to commit to then of course the alignment the alcohol and you mm -hmm. And your views change, you know? yeah. so it won't be overnight. You know? yeah. So there will be few hiccups. Here Absolutely. And there. Can I talk yeah. about sure. the time? Mm -hmm. um, like Jay with us, he used to, he used to, and it's not even like he was doing anything dodgy, but he was used to, like he was a single guy, and he was used to, like he hangs up with his family. Literally, that like, those are his friends, and his family they really like hanging out together having nice times so for me it was very hard for me to not have access to him at all times like i felt like this guy like where are you now like gone because he's busy with his family they're having they're having a great time and for me it was just like whoa 
when I'm calling me, you know, you're not thinking about me. And I mean, the truth of the matter is, he loved me with his whole heart, but it was an adjustment for him. That's just fact. Like, I, I feel like as much as, um, you know, yes, Umungu will know that, no, she's the one and I want her. You know, guys, life is life. And you have a life before you meet the one, you know, unfortunately. That's, it just is what it is. And so that's why he spoke about sacrifice. <laughs> I feel like sacrifice literally is the answer to this question. And sacrifice is the name of the game. Because it's not like I didn't have to sacrifice anything. There's just so many things that you have to sacrifice when you want to be committed to one single person. Because also, I feel like, guys, attention is nice. Hmm? Attention is let's not let's not lie. Attention is nice, but then now when you're committed to somebody, you have to be like, okay, am I gonna entertain this? Even if I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just entertaining it. You're blurring lines there that you really shouldn't be, and you're putting yourself in in the position that you shouldn't be. And so when you commit yourself to somebody, you're saying you will not entertain any sort of attention from the opposite sex, any sort of weird vibes attention you are not so that's a sacrifice isn't it you sacrifice hanging out with the boys hanging out with the girls not that you don't do it at all but if you're committed to somebody you're definitely going to have to make some sacrifices and so yeah i think it was it was an adjustment it wasn't too hard of an adjustment i think you know we managed to to adjust well but there were definitely some hiccups along the way definitely but you know um, if you see that you know what you want in the end is all worth it, then definitely you you just step up to the plate and you make those adjustments and you make those sacrifices. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, <sighs> what advice would you give to the youth about dating? I'm also gonna. Um, I'm gonna mix this with this one who said any advice for someone who wants the next boyfriend to be her husband <laughs> yo <laughs> guys <sighs> i honestly think you know when you're young be young be that um be yourself work on yourself work on loving yourself if there's one thing and like i'm not ashamed to say it because i mean it's just facts and i i'm always gonna keep it real with you guys a part of me feels like i wish i had time to just love on myself before i got married it's very very important because you know why because if if you don't master the art of loving yourself it will definitely spill over into any relationship that you have whether your friendships your your husband whatever so and, and and so if you haven't reached that level of fully just loving yourself no matter what you're gonna have some issues down the line you're gonna have some issues so i would honestly say guys please take time please take the time to love yourself learn to love yourself learn to be alone with yourself with without any you know like you don't need like to always be like wanting to date give yourself time to be single because literally that's the time that you're gonna know get to know yourself who are you you're gonna get to know yourself what do i like what don't i like so that when you finally do date you don't compromise don't compromise yourself you know you you you, you won't have because another thing that dating young another thing that it does is with every single partner that you have in that doesn't work out, your self-esteem literally drops. Like, like with every, take it from me, it literally drops because then you end up asking yourself, you know, I mean, whatever the case may be, why the relationships end. It's like, you end up asking yourself, mm. so if you're always chasing the next relationship or if you're always wanting to date, you're going to have a problem. I know it's hard, but just take time to be with yourself and take time to love yourself first. Because trust me, it, once you achieve that level of self-love and like, what's the word? Um, assertiveness, then, then the, the, the person who's going to, the next person who you're going to date 
will definitely see that and will not be about the games because they can see that you're very secure in yourself there's no there's no time for games and they will see that no this one mm -mm, there's no games there so i would really really want to emphasize that and then the one who said um if you want your next um <laughs> boyfriend to be your husband honestly girl i'm sorry to say this but don't look don't look and don't you know what i mean like don't i wasn't looking when i found my husband was i i wasn't at all i wasn't looking at all focus on yourself build yourself up work on whatever whatever your dreams that you want to accomplish outside of yes you want to get married one day and that's amazing but whatever your dreams are outside of that focus on them because girl once you get married it's very like it's going to be harder that much harder because you know guys marriage is a responsibility you literally are responsible now to give your love and devotion to this one person and so that's what you promise and so you need to do that and other things they come second remember that guys nah, marriage is nice and i'm very happy we are very happy in our marriage but just remember that you know the marriage once you're married comes first so if you have other dreams they come second that's just facts so don't look don't look and obviously you know pray about it pray to god about it and tell him the kind of man that you want um but also keep in mind that he knows what you need more than you do. And trust me, it will make so much sense the day you actually meet the guy that he intended for you, why that guy is for you. And that's why they always say that you never marry your type. Hmm? And my types are dangerous. Don't marry your type. Because your type is not good for you. <laughs> your type is not good for you. Trust and believe. Wow, what a mouthful. Okay, how do you both balance family, career, and your relationship? It's so funny because I literally just said right now, mm -hmm. I would see when you're married, the marriage comes first. Your family comes first, literally. And so other things, they come second. And I feel like we all need to, I mean, we, we're not perfect. Like I find myself having to remind myself that all the time. I've become a bit of a workaholic. It's so funny. I'm, I feel like I've never worked so hard in my life. <laughs> like, and it's so funny how in the past I was working hard, but like, because there wasn't anything that I was passionate about, now I'm doing something that I love. And I feel like I'm pushing because I'm loving it. So I keep pushing and pushing. But I need to remind myself, go go to mm -mm, Pella. It can't be to the detriment of the very thing that you say comes first and you want it to be here at home for that very really thing your family so you know i think what about you babe? do you want to say anything like in terms of balancing career family i think mm. it's pretty straightforward yeah, i think it's straightforward yeah your family comes first yeah, with your family being your marriage yeah family. marriage children yeah yeah, yeah that comes first absolutely yeah. and what would you say about Mininja? i feel like we love the kids but I feel like we come first. Yeah? Would you agree? In terms of, you know, if we don't work on us, then what kind of family are we, you know, building for, 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 for them? Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, if we are disconnected, if they have they will suffer yeah. at the end of the day. So I feel like it's us first, then yeah. us yeah. as a family, the kids then be a book career and all that like i won't lie it's easy to talk um but it's harder like for you know especially if i feel like i'm finally doing something that i absolutely love and yeah sometimes i can't find myself you know you know diving into the work too much like whether like sometimes i'll be sitting here with hubby like on our time that we're supposed to be together but i'm working i'm busy checking uh what you guys are saying trying to interact with you guys or i'm busy editing and stuff like that so i mean definitely i need to keep it real but at the end of the day like i need to snap like i i have to always remind myself kuti ish this this can wait the person that's sitting right in front of me is more important like so much more important 
देखिए ओह डू यू गैस एवर फाइट एंड इफ यू डू हाउ डू यू रिजॉल्व देम डू यू फाइट नहीं वो फाइट नहीं वो कपल फाइट नहीं नहीं वो कपल फाइट हम कपल डोंट फाइट I feel like couples who don't fight are just hiding things under the carpet. Because I mean, we're we're both two individuals yeah. trying to become one. Mm. So, see, see, we have that's one thing. I mean, because we we both have different backgrounds, so we all clash somewhere. Wow, wow. definitely. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, I'm resolving. I mean, we try, we try, but we say we always sleep and then we do it. We try. We try. We always go to sleep. You more than me. Mm-hmm. I won't even lie. I'm the most stubborn one. He's the more, you know, kumbaya one. And I thank God for that. You know, we are here, literally each other's yin and yang. Um, cause. Like I can't imagine. I mean, sometimes it does work if there's two hot-headed people. I don't know, but for us, I'm more of the hot-head, and he's more of the calm one, the reasoning one. Like, let's reason, let's talk. Don't do that. Don't don't be mad like that. Don't go full on your own. Let's talk. And um, at first it was annoying for me. I won't even lie. But now, you know, I'm very grateful. Very grateful for it because I'm just like, my God, this man. Like, if 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 this man wasn't like this, now this the way I pinch you, this will feed. Because I'm very stubborn. Very stubborn. How do you deal with me, Sham? <laughs> oh, shade. Okay, it's okay. Oh, another thing. I think we did say this in in Fazilia's blog, Guti. You know the the time that we take to chill with each other every single night after we put the kids down, and we also pray together and stuff like that. Like obviously, there's no way that that won't break down Emma walls. There's just no way. So I would highly recommend doing that every night if you can. Obviously, sometimes life gets too busy and. You know, none that's in gym. We don't do it all the time, but definitely, it. I've, I, you know, I notice, Guti. I mean, I'll be like, really, I'm doing DJ like Guti. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk to this guy. And you know, once we are there in that situation, it's like, ugh, I just melt because once you involve God into into in for really, there's. I mean, not that we'll be praying about why we fought. We're praying about something completely different because we're praying and God is in our midst. The walls get broken down. We melt and yeah, we resolve it. How did he know he was ready for marriage? Is that the same as how did he know he was the one? How did is it the same? Mm-hmm. But how did you know you were ready for marriage? <laughs> were you ready for marriage? Just the same. I think you get fired. Yeah, too much. Too much fun. Hey, but that's about my chance. I mean, I never asked you to propose to me. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, too much fun. It's too much. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wow! I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh yay! We're done. Hey, bye, baby. You did so well, my life. Thank you so much. Uh, yay. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that um, Q&A. Um, depending on how this video does, Mrs. Lamini maybe might come back. I don't know, you know. <laughs> if you guys give him enough incentive to come back and you show. <laughs> He's just like, nah. But I feel like Loki, he was starting to enjoy it. He won't admit it, but Loki, he was starting to enjoy it. That's why I'll keep telling myself. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. I really, really enjoyed um, going through them and actually answering them with hubby. Um, you guys are just the best. You guys are the best. Um, 
I am planning on doing a giveaway very soon for 1k because we are going to reach 1k before the end of the year. We are going to reach 1k before the end of the year. Guys, let's make it happen, Pela. Don't only watch like and comment but also share please remember to share the video share on your whatsapp share on your social media and yeah let's keep the family let's grow our beautiful family um otherwise i think that's the end and thank you so much for tuning in you guys love you guys so much <laughs>